And yeah, I did say it was homecoming night. Four Highland Springs taking on Colonial Forge, a homecoming king. Wide receiver Kwan Ye Vini. Congratulations as he gets the sash and the crown. And to the Queen Serenity, Alexander, this year's 2021 homecoming a queen. So Kwan Ye Vini and Serenity Alexander, congratulations. And congratulations to the Highland Springs defense. They were all over the place. Turnovers were key. That's the first one very early on in the ball game. It's Daquan Giles who recovers a fumble would lead to this. Hey, it's a homecoming king. Kwan Ye Vini on the receiving end of the touchdown pass from Christian Martin. And the Springers have an early 7-0 lead. Ensuing kickoff, things would go from bad to worse for the Colonial Forge Falcons. It didn't look like it. Here's a huge kickoff return. Looks like nobody's going to get him, but as he's going down to the ground, the ball pops loose. Springers Johnny on the spot. It's Elijah Wedded with the fumble recovery, and the Springers took advantage. Martin firing, finding Latrell Sutton. Good for a first down, would lead this. Still first quarter action. Give it to the big man, let him eat. Aziz Foster Powell finds the end zone. Springers did a lot of work offensively on the ground. 356 rushing yards on the night. More Springer D, yeah, you got it. Forge going deep, pretty, pretty, oh so pretty spiral. But number eight made a name for himself on this night. Braylon Johnson gets the interception. We switch sides, second quarter now. Quarterback, easy squeezy lemon peasy pitch and catch to Takai Heath. That's good for first down. It would lead to this. Looking to go up three scores. They'll do just that. The handoff, this time to Marcel Fleming. He finds Pater. This looks like the Springers of old, doesn't it? Defense forcing turnovers. Offense just going down the field. The one problem Island Springs has had this year is avoiding the big play. And this time it would come in the form of special teams. This kickoff return would go all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Colonial Forge would be their only points of the night. Still, Falcons on the board. Springer's offense responds. Look at that pretty pass from Martin, fighting Michael Hodge Jr. This offense, I said, was firing on all cylinders. 574 total yards on the night. And Christian Martin threw for a score. He ran for one more. Taking it deep into Colonial Forge territory on that play right there. And that would lead to this. He almost got in on that run. Might as well call his own number again. Touchdown Springers and high fives all around. And the Jointons jumping on homecoming night as Highland Springs, even Justin Fuente coming up from Virginia Tech saying, I'm kind of impressed by this team. I don't know if I want to face them, but I might want some of their players. And uh, he'd be good to get them. More defense from Highland Springs. Six turnovers on the night. And the man of the hour, yeah, there he is again. Braylon Johnson returning that interception, his second pick of the night for 52 yards and a touchdown. All Highland Springs at this point. More Springers later. Still getting it done on the ground. Jakir Henley now in at the quarterback position. He takes it all the way to Pater. Touchdown Highland Springs. And the defense, well, they just went to work all night long. Number 53 was in the backfield all night long. All night, all night, Rashad Purnell. All night, all right, for you kids, it's probably not your style of music. Anyway, oh, we missed him. Backup QB is going to put it in for his second touchdown. Jakir Henley and a happy homecoming for Highland Springs. They're 3-2 and two on the year now. 52-7 winners over Colonial Forge.